Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. So, uh, in the last video, I forgot to open the pack since I have more than 100 gold. So, let's go and go ahead and do it now. Alright. I recently opened a legendary, so this pack's probably gonna be terrible. Yep, it is. So the last legendary legendary I opened was uh, Oak Heart, so I mean it's pretty good, but I haven't tried it out yet. So uh, let's see. In this video, I'm gonna do something more fun. So let's try a buff Paladin deck. So the concept behind this deck is that. Uh, you sort of generate more minions in your hand so that you have more targets in your hand to hand buff so this is a hand buff paladin by the way this deck is in no way good it's like a tier 7 deck or something If this is like a token druid or a, I don't know, a jade druid, we're probably dead. We probably lost already. Anyway, uh, this deck is sort of a fun deck. It's not meant to be a serious deck or anything. So yeah, I mean, half stone is about having fun, right? <laughs> uh, we're gonna pass here. So as you can see, the igneous elemental is really good here because it generates two uh, targets for us to buff. So eventually we'll be, oh it's a jade druid, we're screwed. But anyway, the, the igneous elemental actually generates two targets for us to buff. So we're not gonna play our Grime, Grime Street Outfitter here. We're gonna wait for the igneous elemental to kick in before we do that. All right. So uh, we're gonna play the igneous elemental. In case he doesn't really want to kill this for some reason, you can always play the Blessing of Wisdom and you make the Ignis Elemental a higher priority target so that he kills it and we get the Elementals to play. Alright. So... Hmm... I probably want to do Blessing of Wisdoms and uh, summon the guy. Oh, that's yeah. I, I was really hoping to draw a minion instead of a of a spell. Maybe I should put in one spike reach steel uh, instead of two. Yep, we got rough. Hmm, let's see here. So we, we won't play this first. And let's kill the Hmm. Let's kill the two three. So yeah, we also got stuff like Doppel Gangster and the Chain Gang so that we make full use of the buffs, the hand buffs. Oh, and by the way, this deck doesn't have the new Paladin Legendary, the yeah, the one that gives you additional hand buffs. Cause I'm poor, yeah, I'm a free to play guy. Oh no! Oh, it's the spiders. That's not that bad. Cause you know our hands pretty trash. So uh, let's see here. We probably want to play. Let's play. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean against Jade Druid, we got absolutely no chance. So he's probably gonna trade the spider in, or maybe he's gonna attack it with his face to 
preserve the spider. Oh no, he's just he's just gonna attack with the spider. That's fine. Okay, can roll. Oh well. Maybe you should have saved the buffed the buff Argent Commander so that you can charge the Van Roo down. Alright, we got our second outfitter. I think it's time to play our doppelgangster here. Alright, looks like he's gonna treat, which is. Yep, he's gonna treat. Uh, we definitely don't have the late game here, obviously. Oh wow. Uh, ultimate infestation. Funnily enough, I haven't seen a lot of Jade Druid in uh, standard for some reason. Hmm, let's see here. I think we'll play the, one of the elementals, two of the elementals into a steed. Right. Yeah, that's pretty good, but we still got no chance. If he has a spell breaker, we, we, just, we just lost here. Because he, if he silences the 510 elemental, we, we, we've got no chance. And we're lagging pretty badly. Norish, drawing a lot of cards. It's now got 10, full hand size, so it'll probably play something. Ah. Oh, he's shuffling, he's not playing. So, uh, 5 of the 15 cards are. Oh no, wait, he's got Fandro, what am I talking about? So, uh, 5 of the 15 cards are J Idols. Maybe you should have ran. No, but that's not a good card, right? And plus it's a fun deck, so so we we'll lose against Jade Druid anyway. There's no pl there's no point tacking in uh skulking guys, geese guys. All right, uh, let's see here. Now we probably want Tyrion. Hmm. Let's see here. Five three charge down the four. Uh. Yep, 5 3 charge into the 4. Summon a guy. Uh, we want to keep the Torn so that it prevents our 5 3 from getting killed, but we lost anyway, so there's not much point in continuing actually. Yep. 5-5 five, five, plus a 3-6 ton. And he roughs out 5-3, so it doesn't make a difference if he taunt it anyways. Alright, let's just concede. <laughs> I mean we got no chance against a Jade Druid. As Aya would say, you are no fun. Yeah, it's actually, why would you play Jade Druid on casual? If, you, if you're playing Jade Druid, you should go ranked, right? Yeah, you should always go ranked on Jade Druid. In my opinion, if you're playing WoW and uh, casual, you should always... You should either be trying out a deck that you're going to use in ranked, or you should just be playing for fun. So, I, I mean, meeting a Jade Druid in WoW casual is, is no fun. I mean I could easily play a Jade Druid but you know I got tired of that. <sighs> I 
Okay. It's either a pirate war. I think it's a pirate warrior. Might be. Okay, we're gonna throw away this. Turn one, fight a fly. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, the firefly leaves behind a uh, one two elemental as well. So, yep, it gives us another buff target. So as you can see here, we have four buff targets, and if we play the howling commander, it actually gives us another buff buff target because it draws us a divine shield minion from the deck. Oh yep, it's a pirate warrior, and I'm in charge now. Oh, he's actually not going to trade. Okay. Oh, okay. This explains. Oh, wait. He's still not going to trade. Oh, that's, that's a bit surprising. I thought he would play the 2-1 and trade into that, but... Uh, hmm. Doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, we got no hand buff things. Maybe we should have kept the 5 mana 4 4. Alright, we're getting smacked in the face. Oh, armor up. Does that mean he has nothing better to play? Uh, 3 mana 2 2 wouldn't be too bad here. Oh, look, look Igneous. Alright. Hmm, maybe we should have played this to thin our deck so that we draw our buff cards faster. Or rather have a higher probability of drawing our buff cards. I don't know, 2-3 two, two, bodies is pretty good as well. Next turn is probably a... Hmm... Oh, here it is. Uh, let's see here. We can't kill that two three. So let me think. I think we trade. Then we play this to get another buff target while maintaining tempo on the board. Oh wow, he he really doesn't have stuff to play. He just armored up two times in this game. Uh, but we're pretty screwed as well. Uh, let's see. Oh wow. Okay, alright. Time to get serious. Okay, we trade. And then we wreck him. Ah, <laughs> uh, good game man, good game. As long as we don't die to aggression, we should be fine. I mean got 1 mana 3 4 or 3 two, 1 mana 3 4s pretty good pretty good and we can summon like 3 copies of this guy and this is why I put Bren inside Bren's really good in this deck alright so uh next turn to stop the aggro we probably play this the 4 5 oh he didn't. Oh, okay. He's training to brand. Wait, did he attack already? Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, punish. Oh, God. I think he lost. Yeah, now we got one mana, five, six. And if you play this, you get two Divine Shield minions, and we haven't drawn any yet. Alright, armor up. Oh, he really has nothing to play. Uh, he'll probably pick Hunter or Mage, I think, or Druid. Hunter, aggro, full aggro. Is this a, is this a budget deck for him? Hmm, probably. Alright, so let's let's get 
our let's buff this one one first. Kill this. Then we draw two divine shield minions. Alright, pretty good. It's a pretty good turn. Okay. Then we clear the one tree. Then we everything else go face. Oh it's lagging. It's pretty annoying. Hmm. Still have Tyrion, uh, eight ten Tyrion, and uh, oh, it's still the same, one mana five six. Okay, uh, no pirates, so doesn't get buffed the weapon. I think he lost, right? Yeah, he lost. I think I can win next turn. Yep. All right. Hmm, did that pirate warrior get really bad luck or something? Yeah, like nothing to play. Or is it a budget pirate warrior? I don't know, he armed up two times. If he didn't arm up two times, he probably would have won, right? Oh, did we meet the same guy? Not remove friends. Oh, yep, it's the same guy. Okay, we throw away the. Oh, wait, hmm, maybe we should leave it here. Yeah, we'll leave it here in case, because we need a pot clear. And in case he has a high priority target, we need to remove it. Then we'll play the Argent Horse Rider. Okay. Will he choose to trade this time around? <laughs> oh nope. He won't. Alright, so on our, our play is probably blessings into trading the patches. Oh that's a nice draw. Hmm. Question here is do we use a smuggler's run or do we be greedy? I think we use it right. Yeah, no harm using it now. We at most we lose out on one or two minions getting buffed. And the three target buff isn't that bad. So one mana plus three plus three. Pretty decent. Plus against a pyro warrior we really just need to win the early game and that's it. Oh wow. Oh, I thought he went to trade the Firefly away. Hmm, will he trade the 2 1 into the 1 1? Nope. The answer is a no. Alright, so we probably. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He almost misplayed. Uh, we, I think we can handle some aggression. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we buff everything again. <laughs> And then, uh, let's see. Hmm, I think we keep the wisdom first, right? Yeah, we keep the wisdom. Will he continue to hit the face or will he trade? Oh, wow. Ouch. Good thing we kept the... Argent Horse Rider. Oh wow, he's not at all trading. Okay, it's full on aggression, I see. So, first of all, wait, uh, let me think. So, we trade this in. I think it's better to spread our. Uh, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Alright, then, then we go face. And his spot is clear. Oh, this this probably gonna gain a lot of value. The five mana currently for six six. Okay, it's probably gonna remove one of my things. Yep, 
he is because he realizes that trading is actually important in this game and he can't remove that how nice uh let's see first of all we play this uh let let's let him remove the one mana one one for us because uh it can save us one face hit so we got a pretty decent hand we got a four mana three four seven two copies of it oh no Okay, the question now is, it, is whether he goes face or not. Actually, I would prefer if he trades. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see if he faces or not. Oh, he trades. Alright, that's that's actually good for us because... Huh? He didn't kill this? Okay, that's a bit confusing, but okay, sure. Ooh, Don Hancho. Okay, I think it's time to stop the aggression and protect our 1 1. Then we'll play Don Hancho and win. Right. I remember I remember Don Hancho was the worst of the three crime bosses, you know, Aya, Kazakas, and then it's Don Hancho, which no one ever likes because buff decks hand buff decks were never a thing all right so poor don don hancho all right uh hmm i think we play this while we still have a ton up then sure we'll go ahead and play out one mana five six Alright, I think we won. We got 6 mana, 7 5 charge. And a whole slew of other things. Yes, this, this deck, why it didn't succeed in the, uh, uh, what's it called? In the Gadget Zen meta, is cause Pirate Warriors were everywhere. So, this deck really didn't take off during then because it couldn't survive the aggression. Jade Druid on the other hand, although it couldn't survive the aggression either, it successfully handled uh, the Kazakas decks. Because it had it had the late game. This game neither has late game nor does it have early game survivability, so that's why it ended up not being good. Yeah, we'll we'll press the button, why not? Alright, we won <laughs> again. Yeah, so trade. Yeah, always trade Blessing of Wisdom targets. Don't just leave them ha there in case you run into a hand buff deck and you die. See, it's a uh, 6 mana 8 6. Yeah, it's gonna commit Seppuku, I think. Oh. Are we lagging? Oh, okay, no. He, he just conceded. Alright. I thought he commit seppuku by hitting into our 610, but eh, never mind. Alright, so uh, this deck currently is 2 wins, 1 loss. Yeah, again, it's not a very accurate sample size because it's 3. Yeah, it's a sample size of 3. For it to be... Uh, yeah, for it to be sort of accurate, we need like a sample size of at least like what twenty, a large sample size of twenty to be modeled by Central Limit Theorem. Yes. Oh my God! Did we run into? Yes, we ran into that guy again. Oh my God! Oh, but this is this is bad though. Really bad hand. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, Mystic Snake, I think you win this round.
And Patches comes out again. Any coins? Any plays? What does he play? Oh, okay, dead. Okay, we lost. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this this deck can't survive. Now you see this this is what a pirate warrior would usually look like you know turn one summon four minions plus a weapon okay we're gonna try and stop the air grow here yeah we sort of sacrifice cut grow for stopping the air grow or maybe he'll just hit us in the face and draw us cards. I, I don't mind that either, actually. Oh wow, he does hit us in the face. Oh, cool. Cool. I don't mind that. I mean, just one damage, right? One damage, draw a card. That's pretty good. So, Blessing of Wisdoms was essentially a one mana, deal one damage to a hero, draw a card. Hopefully this gets killed, but I don't know, this guy never ever trades, so probably won't get killed this turn. Yep. Still full face. Uh, except this time he's actually doing pretty well because he he got an insane start. Oh, two two weapon. Okay. Uh we might need to force out the Serenite to stop the aggro. Yeah we I think we force out the serenite yeah the thing about this deck is that it has zero healing so it, is, it, it depends on the serenite to stop ag any aggression so if you don't draw the serenite the entire game you just lose to aggro which is actually very possible come on use your thinly to attack okay never mind okay Oh wait, he might actually still attack. Just keep drawing us cards. I don't mind that. Okay, cool. Hmm. Let's see here. We trade, then we play the Enforcer, I think. Alright, that's, that's quite a lot of buff targets. He's gonna draw us more cards. Sure, why not? Is this guy just trolling? I mean, can't be right. He won like 500 ranked games. Oh no, he isn't. Okay, he's, he's gonna kill that thing. Hmm. Okay, we burn one card, but that's fine. Oh no, don't do that. Okay, we shall do this first. And then we will play. No, there's no point playing this. Because he'll never hit it anyway. So let's go and play our 1 mana 3 fours. Because that's fair. Oh, wait, there's another anti aggro too, which is the spike reach speed. But then you have to wait until turn 6 to play it. He's actually gonna treat. Oh, Don Hancho. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, he's trading. Actually, it would be better if he hit the face over there. I don't know, this guy makes very questionable decisions. Okay, time to end the game.
he can't possibly get past 5, 6 plus, 2, 6 is 7, 12, 7, 12, yeah, he can't possibly get past 7, 12 worth of taunt. So I think we're pretty safe here. Plus we can just burst him down with the 6, 4. Mortal Strike, okay. Oh, he's gonna actually use Finley to trade. But then he summons us, uh, oh wow. Okay, he's gonna ping it. I think. Okay, it's time for the steed to ride the steed. It's like a mega steed. Yeah, I think the concept behind Spike Reach Steed is that you, you're riding a 2-6 steed. That's why you get plus 2, plus 6. So this, this card is a Stegodon riding a Stegodon. Yep. It probably looks pretty weird. Okay. Is he gonna RNG us to death? Okay, that's one pirate. Nope. Wrong target. I actually can kill him off even if he clears the bot. Cause we got the 7-5 charge. Unless he plays a taunt. Yep, we won. Yay. Alright, uh, we... Let's see, we won 3 games and we lost 1. But then we did play against Mystic Snake 3 times in a row. So... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Pretty sure that statistic is pretty inaccurate. Because we met an idiot 3 times. No, not, not... We met the same idiot 3 times. Yeah, that's a... That's a better way to phrase it. Hmm. Okay. This looks like a tier one deck. Oh, okay. It's a pretty decent opening hand. Actually, as long as you got you get Firefly or Ignis in your opening hand, you are pretty good already. Oh sorry, Igneous plus the coin. Cause you then you can coin it on turn two. Okay, let's see this deck. It's probably a Rezakus or a Big Priest. Or both. Rezakus, Big Priest. Probably with dragons as well. Why not right? Okay, so we'll play this. Adds one extra card to our hand. For us to buff with the smuggler's run. Oh, dragon. Okay. Um, let's see here. I think we coin out the hmm I think we coin out this guy oh no I was expect oh, uh, I actually wanted the 3 mana charge so that we can remove the 2-4 more easily we can't get everything we want so Actually, we can Blessing of Wisdom that guy, so that he doesn't trade. Hmm. Does this deck win the late game value? I don't know. Value-wise, does this deck win late game? Hmm, not really sure. Especially against a Dragon Priest. Which possibly contains uh, Raza and Anduin. Let's 
he gonna treat? Nope. Or just kill with pain. Yep, he's just gonna kill with pain. Um let's see here. Okay. So smugglers run first. Buff everything. We blessing of wisdoms this guy. So we prevent him from attacking us. Yep, that's the plan. Traits. Oh, dragon it. Will he hit here? Probably not, right? He's not an idiot like Mystic Snake. <laughs> Freaking Mystic Snake. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Actually, playing a couple of 2 trees. Hmm. We'll play this guy and a couple of two trees. Alright. Yeah, if we didn't play that, we we just lose out on the board completely. Which is not what we want. Oh, he's gonna, actually going to use that trait. Alright. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Probably a brand into Firefly into Smugglers, but using brand on the Firefly is sort of a waste, isn't it? Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's see our let's look at our Tyrion is a 9-9 now. This guy's a one mana for five. Yep, he's obviously gonna trade into the brand. <laughs> he's not like Mystic Snake. <laughs> okay, maybe we should stop making fun about Mystic Snake. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's wisdom wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Let's see. Let's wisdom this guy. And let's charge this guy. Yep. Uh we're gonna go into fatigue first. If that actually if that even happens. <laughs> it's probably gonna be it's, it's probably gonna end before we overdraw. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Tyrion time. <laughs> uh, out of all the cards he, he had to discover this. Actually, he should pet bad brand with this. Oh wow, <laughs> a six eight one mana six eight two mana six eight discover a card. Discover two cards. I mean, oh wow, oh feels bad, feels bad. Oh, oh, he's still gonna draw me cards. Okay. I want trade. Yes, please trade. Yeah, I can kill your six eight. Hmm. Try spike reach seed. Hmm. Yep. I think I should. Spike reach seed. So it still survives. I can kill that. Yeah. I'll play. Uh. This guy. Where's his Dustbreaker? You know, the new card, the 
3 mana 3-3 three, three, uh, deal 3 damage to or enemy minions Ooh. Well, he's gonna fill his hand with cards. Oh, that's, that's a really good brand. Uh, secret. Wow. Ah. Is it get down? Let's, let's check. Let's check for get down. It is not get down. Okay, if it's a uh, revive, we probably. Ah, uh, we should have. Ah. Uh, Things are revived. Nope, it's not a revive. Whoa. Okay, it's interesting. Let's uh, draw a card. Hmm, then we'll play this. Oh, it's a secret trial. Cool. Then we'll play our uh, 1 mana 5 6. Alright, cool. Oh, he has tons of spells though. Like three of the cards in there are spells, definitely. Oh no. Uh, we're still gonna summon a, a taunt. And we still have a weapon. Maybe we use the weapon to kill Nefarian. Or maybe the fire tree. Use the weapon to kill the Dustbreaker. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what it plays next. Is it Blessing of Kings? Nope. Oh, ouch. Oh, ouch. Oh, wait, we can use this to kill off his... Yep. Pretty good. Alright. Let's... Uh, do that first. Then use our Charge 3 tool to remove it. And then... Uh, let's see here. We'll play one of our five sixes. And let's see, do we face or hmm. Yeah, I think we trade. Cause we're we're running out of steam here. We only have two cards left. And it's it's not these are not really not very good two cards. So hopefully we draw a big card like Don Hancho next turn or something. Or a brand. I don't mind a brand either. So we can brand into this. So he summons 3 instead of 2. Oh, next year. Okay, we're gonna have to end the game like right now. Okay, full face, full steam ahead. Oh wow, we actually hit hurt quite a bit. Okay, he's probably gonna remove the two four fives. And he still has ten mana to play around with. Maybe you should have summoned the one mana five six. Instead of pressing the button. Oh what nine mana card is there in the game? That's Paladin. Oh he probably drew Anduin. Okay, we're gonna have to end next turn. I, that's probably Anduin. We're gonna have to end next turn. Okay. Ooh, ouch. Ah, uh, that's really unlucky there. Okay, a whelp. Oh, but he kills his own. Wait, 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 wait. So we're definitely trading this. Oh, whoa, 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 we won. <laughs> we somehow won. Oh, man. Okay, I have to say that that was a complete fluke when we won, so... Whoa. Yay. Oh, man, if he, if he had gotten Anduin one turn earlier, he would... He would probably wrecked us or something but he didn't so i guess it's pretty lucky for us okay so uh this is the end of the video so this has been buff paladin our win rate has been 4-1
somehow better than the aggro secret mage that we created so ya I'll see you guys in the next video bye